Today I picked up this base. It's the base that is going to be on the Marble Machine X and now when I have it in my hands I can start to problem solve an interesting problem. How do we get the marbles to hit the bass strings in a correct and precise way every time? That's the subject for this video. I can change the angle by adding or removing boxes. So this will be the angle from two boxes. If I want to try a steeper angle, I add another box and I will take it up some degrees. To be able to drop the marbles consistently, I'm going to make something very simple. I drilled a hole through here and I'm going to tape it to this camera stand and then hopefully we can move it around until we hit the string where we want to. <laughs> it's really not precise enough. The marble is almost already dropping and I can always return to that position by this positive stop, like that. First try Mythbuster style in 3, 2, 1. <laughs> okay. Second attempt in 3, 2, 1. Marble stop. I'm gonna set up a second slow-mo camera to see what a marble is actually doing. One. So I'm now done with the real world testing and I can take this prototype and what I've learned from the test with me and go into CAD and start to design something in the computer. And before I do that I just want to explain how it works. What this does is that this will guide the marble when it falls down to hit the string precisely on the top. And when it jumps up, the walls will also make sure that the marble jumps relatively straight off the string. A very similar version of this same system was used on the first marble machine. And a very important difference between the first marble machine and marble machine X is that we're doubling up every channel on the marble machine X. So every bass string has two hit points. So in total 8, which means that we can play every bass ring doo -doo, that fast. Doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. Doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo so I'm gonna share my screen with you from the computer and show you how I try to design something in uh, Fusion 360. During my test I found out that the perfect angle for the bass was 25 degrees. So I started with making a plane on the 25 degree angle and on that plane I could sketch the four bass strings and the point where the marble would hit them. I could then work out the dimensions of the walls. So the round ring here is the marble and this little dot here is the string. So once I got that I could make a sketch look like this. So these are some screenshots of the process. 
here I have started to extrude the bodies into 3D. You first work in 2D when you're sketching and then you extrude your sketches into 3D bodies like these ones. And this is the finished piece. You can see the blue lines representing the base strings. And you can see the eight hit points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But if we orbit around like this, you will see that all the four base strings can vibrate freely inside. The marbles come up over these sections, hit the string there and jump diagonally off like this. And these four holes, it's to attach the piece on the base. And the fun thing with this is that we are going to 3D print this part. The whole piece is only 10 centimeter across. The wall thickness is two millimeter. So everything is quite small. So it will be quite difficult to build this accurately from wood. But by 3D printing this, I think we have the geometries very correct. And Marius uh, from Munich is going to help me to 3D print this in Germany. So I place the marble on the spot where it hits this string. So you can see how the marble fits in between the walls. This is the A string then. And I am a total beginner on this program and uh, people who are watching this and know how to do this cadding will maybe see how many mistakes I've done in this model. But it's my first two days of working in the software and it took me two days to make the model and at the same time learn some practices. It's really a cool feeling to be able to have an ID and draw it up in 3D and then have the part printed and hopefully precise things like this will lead to us being able to tour with Marble Machine X on stage. This is the kind of precision that we didn't have with the first Marble Machine. Vi då alla succéer, Joel. Ja, uh, jag tar. Vilket svenskt band med rymdinspirerat namn gjorde våren 2016 stor succé med musikvideon Marble Machine? Mm. Space Cowboys. Nej, Vintergata. Ja. Ja. Det är en knapptryckning igen. Björne, det är det Vilket gemensamt efternamn har Jörgen som varit inne i Björne-kostymen i många år och Annika som pratade i radio. Just det. Bodde du på Björn eller Annika? Annika. Ja. Det är det där Björn-kostymen.